Legit. Mr. Everything, he has to step up. He definitely has to. Right wing, Denisio holding the basketball. Right baseline going inside. Chada fakes, lays it up, no good. Fight for the ball, Exxon has the rebound. Going to the midcourt logo, CCNY is quickly back on defense. Top of the key goes to his right. Top of the key, Gears goes to the foul line. Left wing, McElhatton, three-pointer is up. Off the front rim, no good. Gets his own rebound, lays it up, no good. Rebound, Chada. Good effort by McElhatton, just missed the layup. CCNY goes from right to left. Their black jerseys, purple numbers, purple letters. A six-point lead. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Hammer setting up the offense. Right wing Chada has it knocked away. Stolen away by Giss. Giss goes inside. Blocked by Hammer. But a foul is called on Khalil Hammer. As Jamel Giss hit the floor really, really hard. Fortunately for Brooklyn College, he appears to be okay. As Khalil Hammer got the ball, but he also got... Jamel Giss in the stomach area. He hit the floor really hard. That's the third personal foul called on Khalil Hammer. And Giss will now get two big free throws right now. What, what two athletes out there. That was amazing. Uh-huh. Khalil went up top. He got the block up top, but unfortunately the contact below is what they call the foul on. Great steal by Jamel there to anticipate the pass coming and play the passing lane to get out in wide open in transition. As Jamel Giss knocks down the first free throw, as Kenneth Taylor will check in. For CCNY, after this free throw, the referee told them to go back to the scores table. So one more free throw coming up for Jamel Giss, who knocked down the first free throw to cut the CCNY lead to five points. Second free throw is up. No good, and the rebound goes to Mark Richards. 62-57, CCNY. 12 minutes and 42 seconds to go here in regulation. To the right wing, Denisio holding the basketball. Goes to the top of the key. To the foul line, goes to Richards. Inside goes to Chada, fakes, lays it up and in. Great passing and good patience inside from Ram Chada. It's now 64-57 CCNY, 12.25 to go here in the second half. Right wing, Exxon, goes to the foul line, goes inside off the front rim, no good. But an offensive foul is called on Exxon Jambalai. And CCNY will get the ball back. Good job by Ram Chada stepping in to draw the charge as Kenneth Taylor will now check in for CCNY, who will check in for Khalil Hammer, and Niv Confina will check in for Jamel Gist. As right now, CCNY only up by seven points, but definitely in full control right now. Yeah, they're definitely in control of this game. They're playing defense, and they're playing together. You're seeing the ball moving on offense, and guys like Ram Chada starting to hurt Brooklyn College in the second half. Brooklyn College showing full court pressure. Tenisio goes to the foul line. Goes inside to Richards. Lays it up and in. They are easily breaking their full court pressure defense. It's now 66-57 CCNY. Approaching 12 minutes to go here in the second half. Right wing Exxon. Thought about a three. Thought about Solano. Pulls it back out. Top of the key Grasso. Goes to his left. Posting up. Goes to the middle. Picks up his dribble. Right wing Confino. Goes to the foul line. Grasso floater is up. No good. Terrible shot selection. Rebound goes to Taylor. Taylor goes to the midcourt local. Slows it down. As CCNY leads by nine points. 11 minutes and 40 seconds to go here in the second half. Denisio goes to the foul line. Left wing Richards. Midcourt local Taylor holding the basketball. Left wing Solano goes inside Richards. Inside it goes to Chada. Takes one dribble, puts it up. Blocked by Balsam. Rebound Confino. Goes to the top of the key to the foul line. Goes inside, puts it up off the glass. It's good. And Nip Confino is fouled. Exactly what the doctor ordered for Brooklyn College right there. As it's now a seven point game. Confino a chance for a three point play. The old-fashioned way. Fouls called on Kenneth Taylor. That'll be his first personal foul. That was a huge play right there by Nick Confino. He's small, but he has a lot of heart. Went right at the defender that time. Was able to twist his body mid-air and draw the foul and finish the layup. As P.J. Jumbalai checks in for Chris McElhat and Confino. Free throw is up. It's good. He completes a three-point play as Khalil Hammer immediately checks in for Kenneth Taylor for CCNY. Coach Tom Green tells him to get right back out there as he is obviously their playmaker right now. They need him as there is a lot of time left in this game. Look for that Khalil Hammer versus Confino matchup that I told you. He gave Confino a lot of problems early in the first half. He's such a great athlete, so explosive. To the foul line, Richards, guarded by Exxon. Pull-up foul line jumper is up. Air ball. Exxon might have gotten a piece of it. Here's P.J. Bounce pass goes to Confino, goes to the left wing, left wing, P.J. Jumbalai three-pointer is up, in and out, no good. That would have cut the lead to three points. Denisio gets the rebound, gets the ball to Khalil Hammer, goes to the right wing, guarded tightly by Grasso. 
as Rich McAuliffe switches Grosso to Khalil Hammer. Might be a better decision. Midcourt logo, Hammer goes to his left, pulls it back out, in trouble. Floater is up, no good. Fight for the ball, offensive rebound, Chada lays it up, no good. Offensive rebound, Hammer lays it up, it's good. And Khalil Hammer is fouled as CCNY had a second opportunity, a third opportunity, and then Khalil Hammer scored, took the contact, and now is a chance for a three-point play. Foul is called. We'll see what's on in a second. It's called on Dennis Balsam. That'll be his first personal foul. And that has to drive Coach Rich McAuliffe absolutely nuts. A second opportunity and a third opportunity. Yeah, we've seen what happened to the women's team early on with offensive rebounders. The men's team could not let that happen to them. Rebounding is huge, and it's all about effort. We've seen Khalil Hammond sneak in there. He was able to grab the rebound and put it in for the possible three-point play. As Jamel Giss checks in for Nicholas Grasso, Hammer, free throw is up. Off the front rim, no good. Hammer has nine points, by the way, for CCNY. 68-60, to 60, CCNY. 10 minutes and 20 seconds to go in regulation. Giss goes to his left, pulls it back out, top of the key. Exxon, three-pointer is up. It's good for Exxon Jambalai. A huge basket for Exxon. He now has 19 points. It's now 68 to 63 CCNY. 10 minutes and 15 seconds to go here in the second half. As we have a 30-second timeout right now called by Brooklyn College as they have been struggling mightily offensively here in the second half. Uh, the last point they had the point the basket before the three-point shot by exon was confino getting a basket in transition and then exon i believe bailed them out on that play as he was open from the three-point line and as ray mentioned you mentioned it has to be mr everything to take over as ccny has been in control for the majority of the second half here he really has to take over especially with lorenzo williams with four fouls yeah with this last 10 15 we're going to see a lot of exon i'm sure involved in the offensive exactly. sets but uh it wasn't the greatest three, but it went down. Yeah. Uh, I look for a little bit more ball movement. But yeah. on the defensive end, it, ha- it starts with their defense on yeah. Khalil Hammer. Again, I like the switch of putting Nick Grasso on him. Yeah. He's a little bit bigger, able to body him up a little bit more, and maybe disrupt his dribbling. But uh, defense just has to pick up at this point. Right wing Hammer, guarded by Confino. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Approaching 10 minutes to go in regulation. To the right wing, Denisio it goes inside to Richards, holding the ball, picks up his dribble. Bounce pass goes inside, Denisio puts it up, blocked, but a foul is called. It's against Brooklyn College, and free throws are coming up right now for Rob Denisio. Foul is called. It's on Exxon Jambalai, and that will be his third personal foul. Yeah, that, that was a bailout foul. Denisio was underneath the basket, yeah. had nowhere to go, and he just jumped in. Yeah, there's no contact really. The contact, there was contact because Robbie Denisio uh, had his body thrown into the Brooklyn College players that time. A complete bailout, I completely agree. As Robbie Denisio misses the first free throw, as CCNY leaves Brooklyn College 68 63. One more free throw coming up for Robbie Denisio. Second free throw is up, he goes one for two. 69 63. CCNY, nine minutes and 50 seconds to go here in the second half. Right wing Confino, left wing Balsam, left low post, P.J. Jumbalai lays it up and in. Beautiful passing that time. Good job by Brooklyn College moving the ball around. 69-65 CCNY, nine minutes and 35 seconds to go here in the second half. It's interesting to see Niv Confino forcing Khalil Hammer right. He's right-handed. Exactly, and he scores as a result driving to his right. Good call by you, Ray, as he drove to his right, scored. 20 points for Hammer, 71-65 CCNY. Giss goes inside, lays it up, no good. Tip shot by Balsam, no good. And Hammer has the rebound as he slows it down, goes to the midcourt logo, guarded right now by Confino, setting up the offense, 20 seconds on the shot clock. Goes to his left, left wing, goes to Richards, holding the basketball. Left low post, it goes to Solano, missed the layup, and the rebound goes to Confino. Goes to the midcourt, local to Giss. Goes to the left wing. Goes to the left corner. Pulls it back out. Left wing, Confino. Right wing, Exxon. Going to the foul line. Pull up foul line. Jumper is up. It's good for Exxon Jumbalai. It's now a four-point game. 21 points for Exxon. 71-67 CCNY. Eight minutes and 35 seconds to go here in the second half. Denisio goes to the foul line. Goes to his right. Pulls it back out. 
to the right baseline, goes to Richards. Right baseline jumper is up. It's good for Mark Richards as Exxon had his hands down and Mark Richards took advantage of it. Yeah, Exxon got caught napping that time and Richards, a great, great uh, jump shooter, was able to hit the wide open shot. Left wing Confino. Midcourt local Exxon going to the top of the key. Top of the key three-pointer way off, and it's out of bounds. Last touch by Ram Chada of CCNY, who can't believe he touched it last. But it will be Brooklyn College basketball as they trail 73-67, eight minutes and seven seconds to go 